The student body in Oxford is fantastic for people with a lot of skills. Social entrepreneurship, I think it can certainly be learned. Neither of us had any experience of doing anything like this before. I think 12 of the boroughs in Oxford actually are in the worst 5% nationally for literacy rates. Once students go to university, they start gaining weight and they change their behaviours. Most of the jobs students get are people facing, so in the bar, on high street shops, and which is not ideal for someone who's having uh, some social anxiety. Well, the biggest social problem in Oxford is, in our opinion, homelessness. and more so how people view the homeless. We're trying to take people from the university, really keen students, and uh, get them to volunteer and help and teach people. And we found that people who were once homeless knew a lot more about Oxford than your average student or your average tourist. The cooking hub basically gives um, students classes uh, and teach them how to cook. It was just, you know, a few students going Get to the hospital that. and doing magic tricks and then the hub made us realise that, you know, this could actually be like a bigger project. Street View aims to actually use the experiences and the stories of people who were once homeless to actually help them become tour guides and start tours based on those experiences and stories. So it does it uh, by organising parties, theme parties, where students can go and cook. If you've stayed in a hotel before, you'll remember they, they probably gave you a piece of soap. And so most people, when they stay in hotels, they only use the soap once or twice. You could just go to the hotels, get the soap, recycle it, we sell it, and then donate the money. Uh, my social enterprise is a production company called Eye Contact Media, which um, is going to build a range of uh, fiction and non-fiction projects. It's um, very important to kind of get the kids in an environment that is a very creative and exciting environment. So it was very important for us to have the possibility of creating that environment with props, costumes and kind of crazy things that the kids get excited by. Um, and that's what the funding gave us the possibility of doing. Oxford Ice Cream Co. employs uh, disadvantaged students with mental and social issues. We had this idea of creating this business um, and then we found out about the Social Innovation Award. Um, the university innovation funds have been hugely important I think for us and for groups like us. It's very difficult to find that early development funding. We, we got £500 from, uh, from the Oxford Hub and that has mainly been put towards magic tricks. Um, we had a bit we, to start with most of our tricks were geared towards adults or older children. Really the most important piece of support we got was a £5,000 startup social enterprise uh, grant through the university social enterprise program and that got us through the first 12 months um, and since we're, we've already started selling right now we don't need any external funding. What we're doing now is that we're performing at more commercial things so like parties and stuff we perform there and we raise money from there and we're using that to fund more tricks so in that way we don't actually need to rely on like a grant. We were starting from scratch and just it, even just winning the award regardless of the amount give a lot of confidence that we can do this and we do have the support of the hub, of people, and it just also helps people, you know, take us seriously. 